Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Orgul, and today we're going to be killing Cinderella and Ferrot at the Fear Portal. She is a level 49 necromancer. I am level 51, 50, 51, 50, 51, um, and then I just left. <laughs> so she is a hard mob to kill. And now that I think about it, after you watch the video, I was probably doing it wrong the whole time. So, pretty much, if you had to kill her the initial kill, she had her pet. And her pet is as strong as my pet, because my pet is a level 49 uh, pet, as the same as hers. So, you have to fight her, fight him, your pet's dying either way, and then you are getting dotted by her... Because of the fact that she has those um, those nice dots that you have. If you tried to snare and fear her, um, most times my snare would not stick. So I wouldn't get that fear off. So now that I'm thinking about it, I, what I probably should have done is rooted her and used a direct damage spell. Because... One of the things that helped me a whole lot was one time whenever I was killing Trent's, someone was talking to me about it, and they said that I shouldn't be using fear kiting because that's that just takes too long, that I should be doing direct damages because of the fact that they don't have a lot of health, neither do druids. And now that I think about it, neither does she really. I mean, she has a good amount of points, but she doesn't have a lot of point hit points. So, in retrospect, probably what I should have done is just use the level 40... Was it 44 or 49 incinerate bones and just got it over with that way. And then you would have uh, been able to probably kill her faster. That said, that's not how I did it. <laughs> I, most of the time, um, just had my pet go straight in. Especially once you cleared her, she was by herself. Just have the pet attack immediately so she doesn't summon her pet. Try to get dots on her um, ASAP. And then if you can get a, um, a snare on, I, I try it, I guess. Actually, what probably would have been a better thing, now that... Again, retrospect, is um, I probably should have just dotted her with my three or four dots and sent her running. And then have my pet stay back and defend me from the, uh, the small skeletons that were around. A lot of times we were having problems where it was, it was going well. And then one of the, the uh, I think is, I can't remember what they're called, dry bone skeletons I think they were. They would just come up and slap me in the face, catch me on fire, and then here we go. I'm having to try to get my pet on that that mob just so that it can stop attacking me because for some reason I didn't have root in for that specific round. Um, I was switching out spells here and there, just trying to get things to, to work. But um, yeah, I, just thinking about everything that I did now... <laughs> It's hindsight, um, and I could have probably did it better. So, Orgul is 51 now, and Fever is 51. Fever is actually my main. Uh, that, at least that's how I use him in my guild. And uh, Malik Dory is 53, who is not grouped or hasn't done anything in a while. And I need to get his crafting up. I need to get it to a point where it's maxed so I can start doing Teradal armor. Because the chain can be wore, uh, worn by casters. And I just want a set of that just to throw on one of my characters and say, boom, look at that. <laughs> no other reason just to make it make them look beast. Especially if they have the gold bracer and the gold boots. And if we could get a helmet, um, I don't think there, I think there's only one helmet in the game that a caster can wear and, um, it doesn't look the way I'd want it to, or the color. I think it's a pinkish red, if I remember correctly. 
So, um, Orgle or Malagdor needs to get leveled up on crafting. I want to get him to a point where he can um, start working on the Gaz two hander. Uh, take Star Metal, which drops off Cliff Golems, and then um, start trying to go with the. I think it's the seven or eight fold Nagata, <laughs> which has, by what I've heard, um, someone failed the turn in the very last turn in after doing all this work because you do, I think it's like 20 combinations, um, or 20 crafting com combines and then you fail at the very last point sucks <laughs> a whole lot. So, um, I want to try it at least. And, uh, I had the friends to be able to kill Gl uh, Cliff Golems, and I've already messed up that faction anyway on him. Why not just go out and kill him? So, want to do that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I really don't know what I want to do with Malik Dory. I kind of feel, um, annoyed about Necromancer, or not Necromancer, but, uh, Shadow Knights. The fact that they have no offensive or defensive um abilities that will allow them to stand and hold um hold the the fight like a warrior or a monk can it just really irks me that once you get to a certain point on a shot knight they are pretty much only off tank material and even then they don't have the abilities uh the actual um disciplines to be able to handle that kind of um that kind of damage they it's just all about gear for them so i mean you let me know what you think i mean what do you think about shadow knights if you're if you're in that level 55 to 60 range does it change at that point do you become just a beast and you can handle the damage because i've seen a lot of shadow knights and paladins fall to to the type of damage that a warrior can take on the daily if you so um that's one thing reason why i haven't played magdori but i plan to actually make a dark elf warrior just because i want to have a dark elf everything to round out my pack of dark elves so that that'll come at some point but not not until i have a few sets of um teradal armor just laying around <laughs> Anyway, guys, pretty much all I wanted to show you today, all I wanted to talk about, hopefully you enjoy, and hopefully I'll see you in the game. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.